Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. What comes to mind when you think of the largest construction projects in the world? If you guessed airports, canals, and subways, you'd be on the right track. Skyscrapers are reaching for new record heights. Huge tunnels are establishing new transportation connections. And colossal bridges are spanning greater distances than ever before. Around the world, gigantic engineering and infrastructure projects are opening up or are closing in on their competition. And of course, there are industrial complexes and utility projects. But some of the current projects that make the list might surprise you. Number 10. Al Maktoum International Airport, Dubai Around 50 kilometers southwest of Dubai International Airport, a brand new city is rising. And at the center of this city is an airport that aspires to become the world's largest upon completion. No other airport would prepare you for the scale of Dubai's Al Maktoum International Airport, which extends over more than 21 square miles. The facility is designed to handle 200 wide-body aircraft at a time. Al Maktoum International Airport is at the core of DWC, a master-planned city that is almost twice the size of Hong Kong Island. The airport's second expansion phase alone has an estimated cost of more than $32 billion. The airport has a projected annual capacity of 12 million tons of freight and between 160 million and 260 million passengers. Number 9. South to North Water Transfer Project, China The north of China is home to almost 50% of China's population, but has only about 20% of the country's water resources. To remedy this imbalance, China has funded the construction of three huge canals, each more than 600 miles long, and will carry water to the north from China's three largest rivers. The South to North Water Diversion Project in China is the largest of its kind ever undertaken. This massive scheme has already taken 50 years from conception to commencement and is expected to take almost as long to construct. When finished, the work will link China's four main rivers, the Yangtze, Yellow River, Huahe, and Huahe, and requires the construction of three diversion routes. The complete project is expected to cost $62 billion, more than twice as much as the country's controversial Three Gorges Dam. Number 8. Jubail II, Saudi Arabia Creating one of the world's greatest industrial cities on Jubail is not an easy task. Jubail Industrial City, which was built more than three decades ago, will double its size once completed. A cost of $80 billion for infrastructure works only. Jubail II will be the largest civil engineering project of the world. Jubail Industrial II construction is a multi-billion dollar industrial city aiming to create social benefits and to strengthen petrochemical industry. Jubail II is a 22-year-long industrial city project that began its second phase in 2014 with an $11 billion expansion budget. The entire project is slated to be finished in 2024. The figures surrounding Jubail Industrial City are staggering. The city, which has sprung up from an area of Saudi Arabia's eastern province that contained a fishing village less than 40 years ago, is now responsible for around 7% of Saudi Arabia's GDP. Number 7. International Space Station – Space The International Space Station, ISS, is a multi-nation construction project that is the largest single structure humans ever put into space. The International Space Station circles the Earth every 92 minutes. As of January 2018, 230 individuals from 18 countries have visited the International Space Station. Created by a consortium of 15 nations and five space agencies, it has a currently scheduled construction cost that exceeds $60 billion. The eventual cost of the space station and its contemplated expansions could exceed $1 trillion, by which point it could become a habitat for up to 1 million off-planet occupants. Current plans call for the space station to be operated through at least 2024, with the partners discussing a possible extension until 2028. Afterwards, plans for the space station are not clearly laid out. It could be deorbited or recycled for future space stations in orbit. Number 6. Dubai Land, Dubai. Dubai is building the city's largest public park, as big as London's Hyde Park in Dubai Land. Once completed, three Walt Disney Worlds can fit inside the Dubai Land complex. At 278 square kilometers in size, the $64 billion Dubai Land will feature 30 kilometers of pedestrian pathways, 20 kilometers of jogging tracks, more than 14 kilometers of cycle tracks, 
and seven kilometers of nature trails. The public garden will also include 10 sports grounds and one major event space. Also included will be 55 playgrounds for children, 45 sports grounds, five major event spaces, and retail space for shops, restaurants, and coffee shops. It will also have the world's largest hotel with 6,500 rooms and a 10 million square foot mall. The project is scheduled for completion in 2025. Number five, London Crossrail Project. Crossrail is Europe's largest construction project delivering the Elizabeth Line, a 100 kilometer plus rail line that will pass through 40 stations from Heathrow and Reading in the west to Abbey Wood and Shenfield in the east via 42 kilometers of new tunnels under central London. The estimated cost of construction is $23 billion. The project is scheduled for completion in phases with the first new line, the Elizabeth Line, expected to go into service in 2019 followed by the remaining lines. Number four, High Speed Railway, California. Work on California's high speed train began in 2015 and is scheduled for completion in 2029. It will connect eight of the 10 largest cities in the state and reach from San Diego in the south to San Francisco in the north. The project will be completed in two phases. Phase one will connect Los Angeles to San Francisco. Phase two will extend connections to San Diego and Sacramento. The train will be 100% electric and will be powered entirely by renewable energy and capable of speeds up to 200 miles per hour. Number three, Chuo Shinkansen, Japan. The Chuo Shinkansen is a new rail line being constructed in phases based on the Japanese superconducting magnetic levitation, maglev system. Officially called the linear Chuo Shinkansen, Japan's newest high-speed rail line will take travelers from Tokyo to Nagoya, 286 kilometers in 40 minutes, at speeds up to 505 kilometers per hour. The initial section of the Maglev line, which forms the first phase of the project, will stretch from Shingawa to Nagoya. The overall investment in the phase one is estimated to be $52 billion approximately, which also includes the rolling stock cost. Number two, Daxing International Airport, China. Beijing Daxing Airport will eventually surpass Dubai's Al Maktoum International Airport in cost, total square miles, and passenger and plane capacity. Officially opened in late September, Beijing's new Daxing International Airport, PKX, is now the world's largest airport terminal, spanning 7.5 million square feet, the equivalent of 98 soccer fields. It cost $11 billion to build and it's slated to handle 300 takeoffs and landings an hour in its initial stages alone. If everything goes to plan, it will also be the globe's busiest airport, with 45 million passengers expected to pass through it by 2021, 72 million by 2025, and some 100 million by 2040. Then there's the technology. It's 400 self-service check-in kiosks Handling 80% of all check-ins, biometric scanners, and smart security checks are all designed to help shorten queuing times and enhance security. Spanning four levels and designed by the late British architect Zaha Hadid, Daxing's glimmering structure resembles a giant starfish from above, with six curved spokes spreading out from a central hub. Number 1. Great Man-Made River Project, Libya Contrary to common belief, the most important riches in Libya are not the oil wells, but water. If you have ever been in a desert, it might be hard to imagine that the deserts were oceans billions of years ago, but they are. For the people who live in desert countries, it is harder to accept that your land was once an ocean where you don't have tap water to shave, wash yourself, or take a shower. The great man-made river changed the destiny of a country and brought water to the middle of the desert. It currently transports almost 2.5 million cubic meters of water daily. It runs through an underground network of pipelines from the Nubian sandstone aquifer system in the Great Sahara Desert to the coastal urban centers, including Tripoli and Benghazi. The distance is up to 1,600 kilometers. The GMMR currently provides 70% of all fresh water used in Libya. In 1999, the UNESCO awarded Libya a prize for notable scientific research regarding the use of water in desert areas. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.